guys, how's it going? So, as I'm filming this, you guys are sat in your paper one exam right now. And I personally am feeling like this. So, I hope you weren't too nervous this morning. I hope it's gone really, really well. Uh, by the time you're watching this, obviously it's going to be over. So, I would love to hear from you. How did it go? Was it harder than you thought? Was it easier than you thought? Were you AQA or at Excel? higher or foundation were there any questions that completely just you couldn't do uh i would love to hear from you so let me know down below this video in the comment section so if it didn't go quite so well and you've come out of it feeling a little bit oh god no what just happened let me tell you a story from last year so one of my ladies from last year uh, I'm a private tutor, in case none of you knew. Uh, so people that come to me are generally the people that want to do really, really well. So one of my ladies last year, she came out of the paper one exam and she was in floods of tears. I remember this phone call very, very well. She was in floods of tears. She thought it had just gone terribly and there was no hope for the other two papers. Horrible conversation, uh, but she went on, she got a level 7, so even though she thought this paper one went terribly, she pulled through and she still got a level 7, and as it turns out, it didn't go as badly as she thought in paper one, she got quite a good score, something like 60% or so I think, if I remember rightly. So, if you're feeling like it didn't go that well today, it doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't go well. And it certainly does not mean that it's not going to go well on the whole. You've got two other papers. Uh, generally, I think the consensus is that the non-calculated paper is the least favourite of the three. Personally, it's my favourite. But I don't like using a calculator, I don't like decimals and things, it's just a faff. But I think personally, uh, when you're at your age, you're in your situation, the least favourite paper is the non-calculator one. So there is really, really good news. Once this guy is done, you can forget so much stuff now, because for the other two papers, you've got this guy. So... Let's go through things that we can forget now. Times tables, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, bus stop. You don't need it anymore. Your calculator can do fractions. It can do percentages. It can do decimals. It can do products of prime factors. It can do your standard trick values. It can do thirds. Uh, so many things now can do indices. So many things now are taken off of your plate. So, after today, I'm going to have a day off from making videos because, to be completely honest, I am knackered. Probably the first video that I will do is all the tricks that this guy can do for you, making sure you really know how to use your calculator for papers two and three. In those papers, we don't want to be fuffing around doing anything manually that our calculator can do for us. It's the whole point of a calculator paper. Okay guys, so if you're not subscribed already, get subscribed because I've got some pretty useful videos planned for papers 2 and 3. So you want to be around when they hit. As I say, let me know how you found it today down in the comments. I love hearing Oh, it's gone. I love hearing from you guys. So please, 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 please do interact with me down there in the comments. I want to know how it's gone. If any questions go viral, then I probably will retire from my day off and do videos on those too. Because I imagine you want to see how they were done. Although on that note, try not to worry too much about questions that came up today. It's in the past. Knowing now how to do them, if you couldn't do them earlier, it's not really going to help, because it's over. So, 
Well, I'd write you the rest of the day and have a day off, chill out. Uh, maybe if you've got no exams tomorrow, take tomorrow off, take the weekend off because we've got half term. So that's a nice big space of time now to revise for the rest of your exams, but you need to have some time off. I promise you, don't burn yourself out. Uh, it's typical mouth, I burn myself out all the time. I never take my advice. Okay, guys, let me know down below. Love to hear from you. Well done. One out of three is down, and you've got your calculator from now on. Well done, guys. Take it easy.